Hello and a very warm welcome to Musings of Manu and in this video we are going to touch a very significant topic. The topic is how to improve your English every single day. And when I talk about English that is your spoken English. How you speak matters a lot and if it's in English then you need to improve yourself every single day because till date I find myself unable to express some emotions. Sometimes I get stuck. Sometimes I'm hesitant to speak and sometimes I just speak words that doesn't even matter, that doesn't even exist. So we need to improve every single day. Let's begin. First, immerse yourself in English media. This is something I wholeheartedly agree with. When I started back then, I used to watch movies. I used to listen to English songs when I, I used to consume all sorts of content in English language. Surround yourself with English content, whether it's movies, TV shows, whether it is books, everything should be your English when you are learning and you are trying to improve yourself. Second is language exchange partners. When I talk about this, I want to tell you a story. When I started back then, I always wanted to have a global community of people so that I could communicate with them in English language. And I actually ended up having worked in two such organizations where I had the pleasure of meeting a global community and making global friends all from all over the world. And when I say this, you do not have to get a global community. It could be anyone. If you live in India, you can have any person from India and you can communicate with them. I'm going to tell you how. So there's a YouTube channel of Alina Reis, ma'am, and I discovered it back when I was in school. And there was a there was a system she created it and through that system we had a buddy system that would you would be able to set your email ID into that a uh, platform and from therein someone will get back to you because they also want to speak English with you. And I used to you know I used to email so many people back then around four to five years ago I guess yeah five to six years ago maybe because I was in school I used to email so many people that I want to speak in English with you if you are available and then we used to arrange meetings zoom or uh, meet and we used to arrange meetings and we used to communicate like that and uh, for this matters I never shared my number because it was a personal thing and you can always communicate with people on you know different platforms on Lark or on um, Zoom or Meet, they are always wonderful to get a people and talk with them in English and improve yourself. And when you are speaking with native English speakers, let's say you booked a free trial on Camly or any other app, you do not have to compare yourself with them because they have been speaking from childhood and they have been speaking for the past 15 to 16 or 20 years and you do not have to compare yourself with them. You've just started and it's your journey and your chapter 1 could be their chapter 20 so the, you do not have to compare yourself third point set realistic goals just what i mentioned right now break down your language learning goals into smaller achievable milestones one day you are doing reading one day you're doing writing one day you are learning a new word one day you are speaking and the other day you are speaking it loudly in front of the mirror other day you are watching some movies and you are practicing the dialogues you can do so many things but you have to break down the steps and you need to set realistic goals for that. You do not have to uh, create goals that would be so difficult to achieve and then you will end up being demotivated. It shouldn't happen. Read aloud. When you start, just imagine yourself holding a newspaper and sit standing in front of the mirror and start reading aloud no matter what people think you just have to do that for yourself no one really cares and you shouldn't care for anyone else you are doing your journey you are on your own journey start reading aloud because that will help you build confidence from within and once you build confidence from within nothing can break you and nothing will hesitate you to speak in english while you are speaking in english and start leveraging language learning apps like Duolingo, Babbel, Memrise, all of these apps are available and you can go and check which works the best for you because they offer interactive exercises, quizzes and challenges to make learning more engaging. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm just 
sharing with you because i have tried all sorts of app while i was learning so yeah fifth is read aloud this is the one. next is read aloud when you start just imagine yourself holding a newspaper and sit standing in front of the mirror and start reading aloud no matter what people think you just have to do that for yourself no one really cares and you shouldn't care for anyone else you are doing your journey you are on your own journey start reading aloud because that will help you build confidence from within and once you build confidence from within nothing can break you and nothing will hesitate you to speak in english sixth is build vocabulary with flashcards create flashcards you can review them revisit them every single day you need to install apps like quizlet anki or word up in your phone and then you can uh, you know record those words and you can review them and revisit them reinforce your vocabulary every single day then seventh grammar games so i think this is one of the most fun part when it comes to grammar games if you are someone who enjoys grammar in english you would love this because you will learn how to play different kinds of riddles in grammar and you will keep learning something new you can find n number of websites online that will help you to learn english and grammar by playing games so yeah these are online resources and apps and with they are very interactive and engaging and this will make the process more engaging for you and you will enjoy it coming to the next point is watch educational videos no matter how much i stress upon this this is going to be the most significant one explore educational channels on youtube like tedx definitely ted talks and when you find anything interesting in about a youtube channel and if you think that it would contribute to your overall growth in english then you should definitely go for it there's a youtube channel i don't exactly remember the, remember the name so um they they upload clips of french show and uh, basically they define every single word that they say a different voc- uh, difficult vocabulary as well so you can watch that channel as well if you will search you will find it learn english with french something like that coming to the ninth part keep a journal always keep a journal with you as i always tell you because i do have journal and i jo- journal my thoughts keep a journal with you in this online era where everyone is telling you to write on your phone just keep a journal when you will write it you will be you know able to feel those emotions you will be able to reflect on your journey and you will read it after 10 to 15 years and you will feel that thing in your uh, heart that yeah i was going through this but still i overcame this so it really works when you keep a journal then it really works for you and at the same time you will try some memory techniques while keeping this journal because see memory techniques will help you to remember the stuff that you have written like uh, grammar rules challenging task if you will keep your journal you can also write those words over there uh, it's not just about writing your feelings you can write anything that is important to you and you can keep revisiting it so that you can remember it coming to the next part keep constructive feedback join english language communities so i have merged them together because they are both very important join english language communities and seek constructive feedback so there's toastmasters club as well if you would like to join there's so many clubs that are offering english language tuitions or you can say some are providing learning experiences with different kind of people like you if you would like to join those clubs that would be very beneficial for you so participate in online forums social media groups that's what i do actually i do till date i am a part of three such forums wherein i have to speak in english every single day if i communicate with someone it is going to be in english so you know that actually keeps me going when it comes to my practice and uh, you can even sometimes when you join forums you will get an opportunity to communicate with native speakers as well and the last but not the least seek feedback from them do not be hesitant about that it's all about improving whenever i used to go for an inter college competition and whenever i used to lose i always asked for a feedback it's not just about a debate competition it's about everything in life you do so you need to ask for a feedback don't be afraid to ask for a feedback 
on your language skills because this is the only thing that will help you improve your skills so constructive criticism i have created a video for that as well so it goes a long way it will help you identify uh, the areas that you actually need to improve and your it will actually help you guide you on your lear uh, learning journey this journey is yours and i think you know that very well that it is very important to walk crawl or run on your own pace you do not have to follow somebody else's footsteps and you do not have to compare yourself from someone else's journey with someone else's journey so yeah i think that's pretty much the video remember always remember this one thing that consistency is the key and i am still not perfect i still need to practice every single day i still make mistakes but i learn from those mistakes and i try to improve them in my next video and that's how i am also improving so we are on a journey to improve 1% every single day remember atomic habits you need to uh, you need to improve 1% every single day you don't have to improve all at once and these are the strategies that you need to apply on your daily routine in your daily routine and whenever you are speaking you need to take care of these things and i think it will become this journey of learning english will become less challenging as a native speaker of hindi i can say that it was not easy it took me 5 to 6 years you know when you really then you start you don't start from childhood i never started from childhood i did not have that environment at my house as well so when you start at that moment your journey actually starts so my journey actually started when i was in i was a teenager i don't actually remember the grade i was 12 to 13 year old and i was reading secret 7 and all of these books and i actually enjoyed reading them after that i thought why not just why am i just reading i should also focus on my speaking skills so i will will create another video for that so i'll see you in the next video till then take care of yourself and try to uh try to put these learnings into practice every single day and improve your speaking skills i'll see you in the next video and also remember if you have anything in your mind you can drop it in the comments so that i can create a video on that as well this video was not supposed to be in hindi and none of my videos will be in hindi if they are going to be on english speaking skills you need to remember that if i'll create a hindi video on how to speak in english that's not going to work for you for neither of us so i'll see you in the next video till then you can subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye